I've always said that my life is a living manifestation of possibility. Um, at the age of two, I was diagnosed with a severe degenerative condition um, called spinal muscular atrophy. And my doctors predicted that I wouldn't live beyond the age of five. Next year, I'll be turning 30. So I have outlived myself by 25 years. And so everything about my life is really about existential defiance. Um, and really turning the impossible into possibility. There has never been a wheelchair user that has gone into space. Maybe I'm that person. I want to launch into space as a statement of intent that if we can send a physically disabled person into space, then surely we are able to accord people here on Earth dignity and agency and access to a full life. My mom has always said to me that you will be able to influence the world from the comfort of your wheelchair. And you can show the world that regardless of disability, that you have enormous capacity to transform the world. One of my greatest achievements to date um, was being recently appointed by the Secretary General of the United Nations uh, to serve as one of 17 uh, advocates for the Sustainable Development Goals. Um, so I am the youngest person in this group. I'm also the only visibly disabled person in this group. Um, our group is co-chaired by the President of Ghana and the Prime Minister of Norway. Um, we've got Hollywood icons like Forrest Whitaker, Nobel laureates, and really distinguished leaders like Jack Ma. And then there's me, which is an extraordinary honor. And with this platform, I am able to speak with heads of state and global leaders uh, about the toughest issues facing humanity. 90% of children with disabilities have never seen the inside of a classroom. Very early on in my life, I realized that if I wanted to get things done and, and if I wanted to have a life, that I needed to be able to advocate for myself. Um, and I realized that, you know, if I could advocate for myself, then I could advocate for other people as well. I have a voice and I get to use my voice in service of things that really matter. I use my life to demonstrate to children with disabilities that they can become the protagonist in the story of their own lives. And my human rights advocacy, I think, was sharpened while I was working at Amnesty International. I uh, headed up the youth engagement program um, and, and worked across three regional offices in Johannesburg, Nairobi, and Dakar. And I had that responsibility at the age of 25. If I didn't go to ALA, I would not be where I am today. Because ALA has been the foundation of my success. ALA was such a fundamental turning point in my life. It literally changed the trajectory of my life. Being the first African with a degenerative disability to graduate with a master's degree from the University of Oxford um, is pretty extraordinary. The fact that ALA granted me access to the best institutions in the world and granted me access to mentors and partnerships and opportunities. That is what made the, the, the difference for me. It, 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 it literally changed the trajectory of my life.